So you just started playing DVD and you don't know what tunneling is. No worries. I've asked the internet and compiled the info you need to tunnel survivors to the point that they DC or avoid it entirely as a survivor. First off, you might be wondering what tunneling is because you've been playing killer and survivors have been screeching it at you like the seagulls in Finding Nemo. To put it simply, tunneling is when the killer hooks the survivor and the moment the survivor is off the hook, you drop what you're doing and go right back to that original survivor to hook them again and repeat the process until they are floating off to the great salt mine in the sky. The reason for the name is because the killer essentially has tunnel vision and will ignore any survivors that they encounter for that specific survivor. Let's check out two scenarios because some people get confused with tunneling here. In the first, we have an ace, Steve, Dwight, and Meg. The killer catches Ace and strings him up. The killer walks away and Dwight comes in to unhook the Ace. The killer returns to the hook and ignores the Dwight to pursue the Ace and hook Ace again. That is tunneling. Now if the killer hooks another survivor, such as the Dwight that just unhooked and then goes after the Ace, it is not tunneling because there is a different survivor being hooked. So why tunnel? Is there a good reason for it other than just being a toxic douchewad? Absolutely. Tunneling is actually a legit and good strategy in pro play. If you bring the game down from a 4v1 to a 3v1, then you're able to pressure the other survivors and generators significantly easier. Of course, if you're playing with a friend and Legion tunnels you so hard that you can open your mouth and see out your anus like a biological telescope, it does suck since you have to wait for your buddy to either escape or be the next person getting railed by Choo Choo Charles. The Legion, though, now only has to deal with three survivors, and if the tunneled survivor loops like an obese pigeon, then they don't lose that many generators. If you're a survivor, there are a few things you can do in order order to make tunneling less appealing, or at the very least make it so that the tunneling legion is left standing flaccidly before you, hitting you on hook while the other survivors either set up a rescue effort or the more likely solo queue action, just leave so legion only gets one measly kill. The first is the most obvious answer. You need to learn how to loop. There are a ton of resources at your disposal from wiki guides to just going on YouTube and typing how to loop and reaping the rewards. Just sitting down and watching how to work a TNL wall can be the difference between you disappointing disappointing your fellow survivors like you disappointed your girlfriend last night and making a role-playing Wesker main DC at seven minutes. Next, you need to make sure you familiarize yourself with killer playstyles and their powers. If you pre-drop a pallet on a knight, they can just send Carnifex to break it and walk right through the pallet without losing that much time. You pre-drop a pallet on a doctor, and now doctor either has to break the pallet or try and time their next zap to prevent you from vaulting. It will save you from getting paddled any earlier than you need to. You can also bring perks that will help prevent you from getting tunneled out, such as Off the Record, which is a perk from Zarina. When you're unhooked or manage to unhook yourself with Delhi or getting lucky with a 4%, you can tank a hit for 60 to 80 seconds seconds depending on the tier level and it reduces your pain noises and prevents the killer from seeing your aura while it's active. So if they're literally just sitting at the hook waiting for someone to unhook you so they can down you again and try to wait out the base kit endurance, you're still covered. You can also bring Decisive Strike, a perk from Lori. After you're unhooked or unhook yourself, you have 40 to 60 seconds depending on what tier it's at, where if the killer downs you and picks you up, you get a hard skill check and you can kick out and take off. The downside is that you can't heal, repair a generator, cleanse a totem, sabotage hooks, unhook, or it will just go away. It also does not trigger once all the generators are finished. It can only be used once per trial. If you're trying to save another survivor from being tunneled, I love using We'll Make It because it gives you a 100% heal speed when you unhook. If the killer has meandered away to kick a gen, you can usually get a survivor healed before they make it back, forcing the killer to get two more hits onto them to actually take them out. You can also take Zarina's For the People. You have to be full health, but you essentially give a health state to an injured or downed survivor. So if the killer is coming in to down a survivor that's been getting relentlessly tunneled, you can pump another health state into them which will either frustrate the killer but they keep tunneling that person or they will now go after you since you lost a health state. Good luck out there kids.